These are just a few stats from businessinsider.com about the deindustrialization of America. You ready? Since 2001, the United States has lost 42,400 factories. We have shut them down. That's not jobs. That's 42,400 factories have been shut down in nine years. 75% of those factories employed over 500 people. Times it by 500. That's how many jobs we've lost. In 2008, there were 1.2 billion cell phones sold in the world. How many of those cell phones, 1.2 billion cell phones, how many were made here in the USA? Zero. If our trade deficit with China increases at its current rate, job losses due to the trade deficit with China this year alone, how many will we lose? a million jobs just in our trade deficit. In America today, consumption accounts for 70% of our GDP. Of this 70%, half is spent on services. What does that mean? Going out to a restaurant. What, how, how, if we're just doing restaurants, what are we selling to China? Trade deficit. The United States has lost um, one third of all of its manufacturing jobs since 2000. One third. The United States spends approximately $3.90 on Chinese products. So we send $3.90 over to them for every dollar they spend with us. Again, because we're just doing restaurants. <laughs> we're manufacturing jobs. Some economists are projecting now that the Chinese economy will be three times larger than the U.S. economy by the year 2040. If that is true, if that is true, aren't we the people that are making the little bamboo umbrellas for everybody's drinks? At the end of 2009, 12 million jobs in the U.S. were making something. They were manufacturing. Less than 12 million jobs in the U.S. When was the last time less than 12 million Americans were employed in manufacturing? Nineteen forty one. Are we progressing? Are we going in the right direction or the wrong direction? We are consuming more and producing something that the world wants less. We need big ideas from the private sector, but businesses aren't coming up with those things. Why? They're holding on to their money. Why? Because they are afraid. They are uncertain. They don't know what this administration is going to do to them next. Just the stuff that they did last year as a small business owner. I don't know what it's going to cost me for health insurance. I don't know what my taxes are going to be.